Hello watch fans, the holiday season is upon us and I've started to make it a point to give watches out during this time of the year. Um, sometimes charities do hand out wish lists uh, of their residents during this time of the year and last year I gave two digital watches to a children's home. This year I'm planning to give three analog watches to a home that houses old folks as well as disabled persons. So I thought what would be the best kind of watch to give um, the general public. First thing on my mind was of course that mechanical watches are out of the question. It is a little bit of a hassle and they might not know how they function. So quartz watches are the best. And then next I thought which brand would be the best and Casio does fit the bill to have watches that are reliably built as well as it's within my means. So without further ado, please go ahead and enjoy my video and my thoughts on Casio analog quartz watches. So what I have here are basically three Casio analog quartz watches. I'll not go into too much detail about them to, as this video is just about to explain my thoughts about Casio quartz analog watches. All three of them are similarly priced at about 15 to 17 US dollars and let's see what you get for your money. So for this kind of um, price, I don't think you can expect a lot from the watch, however, uh, one very strong point I would I have to actually emphasize is that even though they are about 15 to 17 US dollars only, they are all made of stainless steel. So the material is actually pretty good compared to cheap um, China brands, I would say, which are normally um, some sort of aluminum alloy or along that lines or brass. So these are all stainless steel. Of course, you don't all of them don't come with solid um, links for the bracelets. They're all hollow links. They all also come with a standard oops, sorry, pressed clasp, nothing special there. But again, like um, Seiko watches, the bracelets probably will wear quite comfortably as they are quite light. They also have um, hollow end links, the Casio um, branding on the clasp here. So for this particular one, I do like the dial. Um, you don't get applied indices, you just get painted indices. They have loom on the hour and minute hands only. And I think the dial is actually quite good looking with that stripes and nice little sunburst effect. I'll just remove the plastic and put it back on later when I want to send it off. So if you can see here, it's actually very crisp. It's not bad at all in terms of its um, looks. And it actually looks to be quite well built. So far, the second hand hits the markers quite nicely as well. All three of them uh, have an accuracy rating of about plus minus 20 seconds a month. So it isn't the best, but I guess for a quartz watch, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, and this particular one has the date function as well. Of course, this is fully highly polished, so you do get the how you say marks all over it. All three of them also have mineral glass. Again, I don't think you can expect sapphire at this price point. And it's all also, again, relatively thin, sitting below 10 millimeters. So this is the first watch. The second watch is also a men's watch and I chose this particular one because of the beautiful, I would say it's this teal colored dial. Again, crisply printed loom on the hands and it has a beautiful sunburst effect. Again, stainless steel, um, hollow end links, similar bracelets. The feel of the crown on all three watches are also okay only. They are not the smoothest or the best but I guess they do what they're supposed to do again nothing really special about it 
But again, for this kind of price, stainless steel, good printing, uh, I guess Casio, you get a solid quartz movement. You can't really ask for more than this. I would actually venture to say that they are among the best, definitely, for quartz analog watch at this kind of price range. Again, all these watches are going out to charity. So I would like to encourage all of my viewers out there, if you can do your little bit for Christmas, it doesn't have to be Christmas, but yeah, there's always people less fortunate than you. So these watches are going to um, an, a fo an old folks home, which also serves as a home for the disabled. And these are all their wish lists. So I'll clean out the finger marks later before I send them off. And the last piece is what I actually really like. It's a ladies watch uh, model, as you can see, kind of after the Cartier tank kind of design with the Roman numerals, the short hands. It's again, a very beautiful watch for its price. Honestly, you do get a tank vibe, a very strong tank vibe. And to be honest, if you don't know, if you're not a watch person, they really look extremely similar. Even the build quality, of course, upon very close observation, you might see the difference, but it's just absolutely amazing what you can get about 15 to 17 US dollars. Beautiful, um, I guess, yeah, sunburst effect dial as well. As you can see, the, the printing, I'll show you uh, all you have seen in previous uh, clips on this video is also very crisp. Same dial, same glass, same kind of bracelet. So just my little thoughts. And honestly, this is a pretty good watch. They're all water resistant to 30 meters so I guess at most you could wash your hands and I would advise against taking a bath or swimming with them. Well, those are my thoughts on Casio Quartz analog watches. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll try my best to produce more videos in the future. Just before I leave, I would like to encourage everyone who's watching this video. Since this is the season of giving, please go out there and give a little bit of something to someone as there's always someone who needs something. And us being watch fans, what better way to share our hobby and our passion by giving a watch to those who really want a watch. See you guys in the next video.